Hi guys, VST here, where I've stack. Don't pay attention to this messy background. Whoop. Okay, now I got it fixed. I'm gonna show you in today's video the five best use cases for the side button. And I guarantee you guys, it will transform the way you use your phone. Okay, now enough with the talking, I'm gonna do two things and you let me know if you're able to spot them. And this is what you're gonna be seeing in this video. So see what happens right now. Okay, I'm holding the button here, boom. Sound muted, okay? Now double tap, boom. Sound is back on, all right? One more time, holding the side key, boom. Sound is on mute. Let me show you another fancy trick, guys. Usually you're using the volume rocker to choose up the volume or make it go down, but see what happens right now. I'm just gonna push up and hold it, boom, okay? I can now decide to go all mute, right? Hold it, and I can decide to go all power up on the volume, all right? So if you wanna learn tricks like this, make sure to watch the full video, as I guarantee you're gonna love it. For all these magic tricks to happen, I'm using one and one up only, and that's the so-called Bixby routines. Now, I have a lot of routines, right? And there are plenty of routines for you to discover, right? Now, there are some adaptive routines for you when you're traveling abroad or you just don't want to be disturbed. There are some suggested morning routines to play morning music, good morning, etc. Also, a link to home automation. There are some focus routines, meetings at work, etc. Useful anytime. But I will, guys, show you how you're able to add your own routines with all the conditions so that at the end you're just going to get what I showed you in the beginning of the video you and you really make use of this button there this button there is there to work for you right and there are not really plenty of things you can do without the routines if you enter your phone settings and you just scroll down to advanced okay so advanced features you're gonna see something called the side key from inside you're able to configure the double press so you can just use it to open the camera like quick launch the camera or you can open a specific application and of course you have the option to configure the action for press and hold you can either wait Bixby or just get to the power of menu, right? But you cannot do things like this. Let me just do this one more time. So I'm just holding it, boom, phone on mute, right? Double press, okay, all sounds back on. And this is the things I'm gonna show you guys in this video. So please make sure to watch until the end. Something else while you're watching until the end will be, yeah, subscribing to my channel, which I really hope you're gonna do. And yeah, also, yeah, don't be shy. Just leave a like down below, thank you. Let's continue. The first trick I'm gonna show you guys is how to use the side button to mute your phone or go off mute. Right, more time, holding it, boom. All sounds muted, right? Just double pressing it will get all my sounds back. Now it's very easy, guys. You need to go click inside Bixby routines, select the criteria for the if, okay? Just swipe down, find the so-called button action, right? And then choose the side button. Now what we want to choose is the first activity, this is muting our phone and we're going to choose a side button and the interaction will be press and hold. We're going to then select done, okay, and then we have the second criteria, then and what this routing will do, so this is here the next step, right, go inside sound and vibration, select sound mode and volume, right, and just select mute here. Then press down. So now we have the button action. We have then the criteria we want to get fulfilled. Then we get to next. All right. Here you can just type mute. All right. So mute sounds like I did. Okay. And you can just go down and find a very nice icon. Also choose a nice color. Let's go for this one. Press down. And then this routine is going to be here. Now let's just see if it works. Okay. Holding my finger like this. Boom. All right, now all of our sounds are muted. You can just see there is no joke. Now the thing with these routines is when you do a routine like that, you wanna get another one that will get you back on track. So right now, guys, if I press double tap, there you see my phone will just get locked. Okay, so the next trick here is we need to go back. We need to create another routine, go inside here, choose again the button action, choose here the side button, and then choose the interaction double press, okay? This time we are gonna get again to sounds of vibration, sound mode and volume, but this time, guys, we're gonna get from mute to sound, okay? Press down, press next, okay? And let's just put it sound on, okay? Scroll down, find a very nice icon like this, okay? You wanna choose the color. So let's see, right now we are muted, okay? So I'm just going to double press the side button, boom! Here it is, okay, so this is really one of the best tricks ever. This is very handy, guys, and this kind of somehow mimics the hardware mute 
or switch sound button that exists on the iPhones and also existed in some of the OnePlus phones. All right, let me show you the other trick that I did. This is even more fancy. So let's see right now, I'm just holding my volume up, yeah, and holding it up and down will just regulate the volume. What if you wanna get another level of control? Again, purely hardware just with the button. Click here if, scroll down, find the button action. Now we want to choose the volume up, all right? And this time we don't want to do the double press. We want to press and hold, okay? Done, right? Now here is where it gets interesting. When we click on the then, we go here for advanced options. And guys, from here we have this menu, show action list, all right? Now we're able to select several actions. Holding up my volume up button, I want to get two actions. First action is, all right, going to go back in sounds. First action is to get me my mute sounds, all right. Then I want to add another action. My other action is going to get me all my sounds back, why not? And then I'm going to get a third action, and this is actually, yeah, you guessed it, get all my sounds to vibrate mode. So I'm going to just save it, going to press next, okay. Sound control, all right. Let's just fancy this icon there. Okay, let's just choose this color. Okay, and yeah, now it's on. Now let's see, I'm still gonna be able to control my sound as you can see, right? But what will happen when I hold it? Boom, okay, all my sounds muted, hold it one more time. All my sounds are back, hold it one more time, and I'm get now all my sounds to the vibrate mode, right? And this is a very, very easy way for you to control the sound, but this is also very comfortable for one hand. You see, I can do everything with one hand, and yeah, my hand is fairly big, and this is a rather big phone, right? So this option here, you can just see, the options are actually unlimited. If you like videos like these guys, let me know down below in the comments, and yeah, if you really like them, then I am willing to share with you some of my other routines, and I have some really crazy stuff going on there. I really hope that the video was good, that you enjoyed it, yep. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Please, you and your family stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos. And with that said, VST, over and bye.